Hi guys, Saif here and welcome back to another con vlog. Although I can't promise this vlog will be very long in the whole. I mean, again, I will try and record as much as possible, but uh, yeah. But um, yes, it is uh, the 23rd of July, a Saturday, and uh, it is Hyper Japan. Um, and this was running all weekend, so some from Friday to Sunday, and originally I planned to go for all three days, but unfortunately couldn't get really a hotel in time. Um, but this is the first time it's been back since COVID, I believe, so yeah, and as far as I it's at a new venue, because originally uh, it was usually at Olympia London and one other location, I can't remember, and they'd have the two, um, so like one at the beginning of the year, like in sort of June, July time, and then one, I think, more in November, even maybe December, which is more Christmas themed. Um, don't know if they're going to do that this year, but we are back. Um, and it's being held at Evolution London uh, in Battersea, I believe it's Battersea Park. Um, and uh, I mean, we got glorious weather for it at the moment, so it's going to be nice. But uh, yeah, so uh, it is currently, uh, I think, 10 past 12, and I need to leave at 1.30. Um, I'm going with a friend, um, and I'm just going for today. Uh, like I said, I was going to go for all three days, but um, it didn't work out that way. But uh, yeah, we're going to go and obviously see some friends, which I'm really looking forward to. I have some things planned to buy, but uh, mainly for this one, I'm looking for food and drink. <laughs> um, I'm going to try, because it's more of a very cultural Japanese more based one where they do like a lot of events and stuff and obviously you've got your um, artist stalls and stuff which is obviously where I'm going um, and I'm gonna buy some things from there so yeah it's gonna be a nice day uh, uh, overall so um, yeah uh, I'm gonna get ready uh, I've got a little I'm not gonna cosplay this time but I got a little casual sort of fox look going uh, so hopefully that turns out okay but uh, yeah I better crack on with that so uh, yeah should uh, see you on the way there but once you get in, you get around quite easy. That I mean, how can all these people fit the bus? Yeah, it happens. Hey guys, Saifi here, and we are in Hyper Japan, and I, this is the full Kitsune Fox look we've got going, and uh, this my brain. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're finally in. It took us about half an hour to get in. 40, 45 minutes, 45 yeah, minutes. Um, the queue was um, uh, interesting, to say the least. Um, yeah, no, but uh, it moved eventually and now we're in and now we're going in and around and it's very packed and busy and again I'll try and film as much as possible but obviously don't want to, ooh, I see sakura trees. <laughs> um, yeah, got some places, stalls I want to buy from, food would be good at some point and yeah, we're just going to wander around and see what's going on, so yeah, there we go. Oh, and it squeaks. <laughs> I want one of Tokyo this. tourism. Oh, it's so fluffy. Squishy even. It's squishy. Squishy. I do not need any more of these. Sorry, I scratched you. <laughs> it's fun. It's my sister's favourite. <laughs> wow, he's so... Oh, an end cap. So many people just go and squish these things. Yeah. So when someone actually buys them, they're all like really flat. <laughs> I have one that's just like round and it's just perfectly squishy. Yeah, I'm just like, what the, what's going on there? Oh, they've got a little whale shark one. He's so cute. I remember the first store I went to when I was in Kyoto was the Samurai store. Yeah. <laughs> it was terrible. In my defense, I needed things. <laughs> Fair enough, like a hand. <laughs> Did have a hand towel. Is this like the world's cutest shopping board? Yes. I will be scared to buy things on this shopping board. I swear, if I get a house, like everything is just gonna be anime, stylized, just. Kurumi's not my favorite character, but I like because she's purple. I almost bought a, fa a Kurumi fan. Oh, did you? From YY Kawaii. I did ask for it, but I think they were sold out, so. Oh, oh was it the, um, the spinny one? Yes. Yeah. Spinny one. Spinny! Because, <laughs> you know, a fan does that. Squish, 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 squish. Mine is. Um, Karopi and 
So are they just like mas mascot characters? Is that how what it is? It's like Hello Kitty was born and then all the other characters were born afterwards. Right. Yeah, because I know I know Melody. I know kind of Kurumi like now. Virgin for like the same. Yeah. Thing. What's the, what's the pink one? My Melody. Oh, that's my Melody. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. Right. 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 Yeah. Right. My Melody and Kurumi. I see. They work really well together because they uh, complement each other. I see. I see. Can you go in? I love the vlog stickers. Aww. All like bubble stickers always remind me of like my childhood. Oh yeah. You should just decorate every decorate everything with stickers. Yeah. I love the, I had these like all over everything when I was in Oh my god, yes, the panda ones. They're well cute. This, this brand is really good for stickers, I really like. Them. So cute. Yeah. Aww, dinosaurs! Yeah. Papa trees! I think I'm gonna get some pictures with this actually. Maybe now, I don't know. Um, I mean, while there's no one around, maybe. Well, there's people. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, I see more people that I know, like store wires. Yeah, this is gonna be a fun trip. <laughs> Like jeans. Yeah, same. I was thinking about it and I was like, ah, okay. guys, no joke. It's so crowded in here. Vlogging is impossible. Oh, this is the fringe area. It's kind of more outside. It's really cool. Oh, my friend found their friend. Okay. <gasps> I see. T oh, I see Tokyo Mew Mew. Oh my god! Hi! Hi! Oh, it's so cute! It is very cute. Oh, really cute. Oh, it's really cute. Oh, really cute. Oh, aircon! Oh. Is that, oh my god, that's a Helsing t shirt. Oh, Kitsune Creations, yeah! Oh, they do some really cute ears. With the strawberry on them, they're so nice. I just realized how awkward I am talking about the stores. Yeah. I know what you mean. I just kind of like waffle. I feel like I need to make conversation though sometimes. I just realized how many awkward things I just said. All those earrings are already cute. This is where I got my phone case from. Oh! Very spontaneous spy. Cute. I really love the pair of I had a pair of earrings. I think I lost them. I don't know what happened to them. Oh. Maybe Ooh, funky. I don't think he's going to wear these because I probably feel like I'd lose them. Oh, yeah. Because I'm um, so cool, though. They're so cool. They're really well made. Like the stage. It's a dino. Dinosaur. Oh, I've got all the Eevees. Amelia as Lucy from 
Hi guys, it's Sniper here. So it is nearly 7.30 and uh, the con is basically closed now. Uh, got myself some food, some steak dombri. But um, yeah, it's been a good day. It's been a good day for my friend here. Because um, you haven't been to a con in a while, haven't no, you? No, it's so. been many, many years. Yeah, and Hyper is it's definitely been at least two years before COVID since this, but I've not been to this location before, but obviously like we're in the middle of Battersea Park and it's really nice and been a really nice day, but um, so if you had to rate it, what, what would you think of the park? It was quite a small venue, you know? yeah. Like, yeah, compared to Olympia, yeah. compared to, even Tobacco Dock seems small, but it actually is quite yeah. big. Yeah, and they had the fringe area, yeah. which was like where most of the artists were, but yeah. it was kind of outside, but it wasn't, but it was... I would like that to be more air conditioning. <laughs> yeah, more air conditioning. Especially for the poor people in the fringe bit. Like, oh, God, it yeah. Really, it's like a, it's like a um, observatory in there. Yeah, like, your, the windows. Yeah, your poor so, friend was like dying was, like, in there. And I was like, oh, God. Um, it was managed, it was cute, the queue was managed quite well, I think. Yeah, I mean, like I said, we got here, uh, we did have to wait a little bit, but it was moving, it was all that, but like, I had a friend who got here and was waiting two hours, although they got here at six, so... That's probably... Like <laughs> it's not the best yeah. time, really, considering. We, we, got, we got here for about three-ish, yeah. and yeah. we only queued for like 40, 40, 45 minutes, I think. Yeah, so it wasn't bad, too bad at all. Um, so yeah, it's, I, so, I suppose it's a comeback, after Japan. Pretty good, yeah, you know. It's pretty decent for a, for, a, for, yeah. for a first festival after COVID. It yeah. did pretty well. Yeah, I mean, I don't tend to rate cons, and I tend to go to the same ones all the time. But um, we we didn't we didn't really do any of the watching the fest lap. No, stuff no, or doing we, any of the classes. We were kind of were fun. But yeah, we bored. <laughs> yeah, but that was kind of actually the the like cosplay stage area was like actually available for everyone to see it wasn't like sort of sectioned off yeah. so you could just watch the performance and the thing and that no, if I you think wanted to around there would have, i think i would like to have that to be more managed like yeah some yeah of the stalls were really hard oh yeah to there were stalls to. like right on the edge like, of it and there were people could, yeah. crowded so, so literally they like have the stalls there maybe put them somewhere else yeah. so then people can yeah. actually look at the stalls or people can look at the, the event mm -hmm. without it yeah, definitely. disrupting either to either one of the things. That's the only comment I have about that. Yeah, we got definitely. stuck at some point. Yeah, which is annoying. And still, we wanted to be moving out there anyway. Like, oh, yeah, but also it's Saturday. Yeah. It's you know busy. the two session. Yeah, it's busy. It's whatever. Um, but it's good. I like got everything that I wanted. I bought a load of um, stuff, um, which I'll show you guys later. But um, yeah, no. Now I'm gonna enjoy my food because it's getting really cold. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, so Happy Japan, definitely um, good, yeah, great, it's a great day, um, yeah, it was just nice, and uh, I've got to see people as well, which was also really nice, um, and like I said, we only came for the afternoon, so that was like four hours, um, but it felt like a long, like a long, long time, long, long time. Think, yeah. You, can, you don't have to go for, you can, I think if you go for half a session, you'll, yeah. you'll be fine, yeah, if, definitely. if you don't want to do anything else but shop or sports. I think you're okay. I would even suggest, only because it's the only one I know, Hypercham might be actually a good one if you want to start going to cons, possibly, because uh, I did notice as well, there's not all that many cosplayers. There are cosplayers, it's but not it's really not... It's not a cosplay con. Yeah. It's not, it's, it's not a big on cosplay like yeah. MCM. Yeah, and it's smaller, more to the point, so if you don't... If you want to maybe get used to that being slightly crowded, obviously yeah. if you don't do well in crowds, I wouldn't come anywhere, that's not... Yeah. Not the best thing, but um, yeah, no, definitely. We'll, we'll but uh, go to the we'll go to the Friday session. Yes, Friday, because um, it's three days. So yeah, but um, eh. um, no, good day, good day. Um, so yeah, gonna eat food and then probably head back and do a little haul vlog um, at the end. But uh, no, it's been a good day, good day, and uh, I'm quite impressed with this makeup myself. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, yeah, no, so uh, I'll sign off till later. So. Uh, 
Hi guys, so I've literally just got back and I'm just gonna finish this right now. Oh, so, because I really wanna get out of this as much as I love this look so much. Um, for reference, I'm gonna say this was inspired um, by uh, a, a YouTube video. I'm gonna put the link down there and maybe some pictures around here, but it, it was kind of just a combination of everything and I really like how it turned out. So, and I forgo, I for just uh, get my more didn't wear contacts because I was just like I don't want to deal with that sort of thing um but the ears as well are from Etsy uh, I believe it's um at Apis shop or something like that I'll put the link down there or the tag somewhere up here and then for my tail which I absolutely love like and I really love the whole like uh, harness look um this is uh bunny enchantment also on Etsy I'm just gonna promote those because they are really lovely and I actually I specifically got them for this event so there we go anyway so I'm gonna quickly show you my haul um I went way over budget although technically there wasn't a budget so that's whatever but um the main thing I had in mind so if you guys remember uh back in October it must have been um I got this uh poor it's a bag from one of my actual favorite um, artist um, Fox Leap. You can find them on Etsy. They've got their own handle and everything like up there. So basically, I got this bag with the purpose of it being my Fox Itter bag because, you know, if you couldn't guess the theme going here, guys. There was a couple of bits of like I had stuff laying around, but it's also from bits from artists that I have bought from before. Like this is from a, a, a sushi studio, as I may have mentioned before, like way back when. And then a couple of bits. I got this from Japan, actually, like Yusuke. Um, so yeah, very. Um, like fox thing stuff but so basically today uh the mission was to try and obviously get some more pins and as you can see uh we have managed to do that so um i did get so we got this one which is from fox leap and i could have purely made up this bag based on their stuff like very easily but i was like no i'm gonna change it up a bit get some different i uh, ones in there uh, but no I didn't end up buying this one today because it's like the Egyptian fennec fox so it's quite unique so I really liked it um, and then also another artist uh, that I really like was uh, Lindsay Green Illustrates or Illustrations um, and she released as you can see uh, here and here she released some fox enamel pins actually she released enamel pins in general and a few more um, uh, keychains and stuff like that, which but she actually got some uh, fox themed ones. Uh, so the ones I was interested in were obviously she had a QB one, the nine tails. Uh, this one, which she just called a cross fox, and it's only got the three tails. Um, and then she did have a normal fox, which I did, I don't want it to get all three to be honest, but I did think those two looked quite good, like sort of on opposite sides there. And uh, there isn't to say that I couldn't get the next, the other one. But uh, we are kind of running out of space here. Um, yeah, so, um, and then this one I happened to come across. So it's just really cute little ears with, uh, it just says Kitsune there. Uh, and uh, this is from a new artist I did not know about. Um, but I also bought from them this really cool Roxy keychain from FNAF. I don't know if it's showing up on the camera, but they've got this really cool, like, extra shimmer that goes around the edges um and they were like saying to me like it's just it adds like extra to the like glam rock um feel ah uh, here they are so they are yokai hime and there's their handle there and i also wound up very kind of spontaneously um getting a commission from them um so basically i well actually technically I've commissioned them to do a uh, waist up colour drawing of this look here and I think I'm going to use that as my profile picture when it comes out and it, I just really loved their kind of style and I was kind of looking at it like I would really love to have that um, especially like I said I, I love this look I'm really happy with it so I thought it, this is great um, and she said I can contact her and make any like um you know requests or anything in the meantime but you know she took my picture and took some info from me but i mean that uh must have cost 
think it came to about £35 roughly. Um, obviously you paid for, you could get either like a bust, a uh, waist up or a full body. And I was kind of happy just with the, full, the waist up kind of look. Uh, and she had like some examples there as well. Um, yeah, so that was a bit of a spontaneous thing, but I ended up getting that. Um, and the uh, Roxy one, they ha she had all of the FNAF characters and I honestly just wanted to get them all. And it was actually a hard one between Roxy and Monty. They both looked really good, but I've also got her handle. So if in the future I want to buy it, because it kind of seemed um, bad to kind of buy them all in one go. Um, so there you are. Um, but that, yeah, that was uh, kind of interesting. So uh, that's going to happen and I'm really excited for that. Um, there was a lot of interesting artists around there and I've got like loads of um, business cards um, and everything. So I'll definitely be checking them out later. And then I also have in this bag. Uh, so I also grabbed, and I literally saw this as I was going out. And this is also going to go in the bag. But it's like a little carousel like fox. And again, I thought it was really unique and cute. And again, I'd never heard of the artist before. But it's one of those things, if you see it, it looks nice, unique. Um, grab it and like obviously support artists. Like that's great. Now for the main event. This is something, so I had a few things that I had in mind. So I had the pins from obviously Fox Leap and Lindsay Green Illustrates. Um, I didn't actually realise they were there, but there's this other um, artist uh, that I follow called Occult Trash. Um, and I kind of discovered them uh, fairly recently, um, but I just bought uh, prior to con a load of um, pride badges and pins from them to like decorate up my work lanyard um, which was really nice but oh, as I was looking I also saw that they do various um, different I don't really know what you call it I mean they do do like along the lines of kink stuff um, but basically they had stuff which was uh, about um, Incubus and Succumbus and some other stuff like that and they also do like uh, the Hooters um, outfit uh, I think it's like uh, Femme Hooters or something like that um, basically they do like apparel stuff and while I was looking on the website I found this outfit and I was like Mm, I really want to get it, so I will show you. So again, I will put their handle down below so you can check them out fully, but basically, for the apparel, they do do... Excuse you. Um, they do do, like, various options. So they do either crop tops, different sizes, obviously the different t-shirts, and then you have a choice, I think it is for an extra £10, to get a, a distressed one, which basically means... Uh, rips, tears, and basic additional flair, if you will. Um, but basically, you can either get the t-shirt separately, or like I said, you can get an outfit where you get shorts and a pair of long socks. And originally, I was like, oh, should I just like, get the whole outfit? Um, or should I just get the top? I was like, no, I think a whole outfit would be pretty good. Um, so, yes, here we are. So, I got this. And I actually, I haven't seen what the distress looks like because uh, they told me, um, like, to, uh, they would, like, to, they'll do it and then I had to come back in half an hour. Um, and it was literally towards the end, so I kind of had to grab it and go. So I haven't seen what it looks like yet. Um, but this is uh, the long t-shirt and you can just see you got, like, the rips and tears and stuff. And, oh, it looks so good. So, yeah, this is the Incubate one. And uh, it's like, that's the back, it's got the wings, and they have like, uh, all, all different ones, uh, Succumb Boy, Succumb Bay, um, I'm sure there's like a couple of others, but this one is the one I had my eye on beforehand, but when I got there I was kind of toying with some others, and I even asked my friend, and obviously I ended up going for this, so yeah, I've got that really cool uh, t-shirt, um, and then it comes with, yep, just a pair of nice stretchy like, uh, sort of shorts, not necessarily, I wouldn't call them boy shorts, but you know, and then like a pair of socks, it obviously in the colour matching the outfit. So, um, and unfortunately they didn't have medium in the top anymore, so I went with the large, so it's going to be a bit bigger. But um, yeah, I was just quite happy to get that. And I'm not going to lie, the reason I wanted to get it at con is because I wouldn't be paying the extra delivery fee. So there you go. Um, so yeah, that was a whole outfit of that uh, and I would say definitely like check them out 
Um, apart from that, I um, ended up buying some essential like drink stuff and then obviously my uh, main food at the end of the day. Um, apart from that, so that's uh, pretty much it in terms of the haul. Um, and obviously I'm just, I'm, I'm absolutely loving this bag so much. And I'm quite happy that I still have some room for some other things. So uh, I might, because there's a couple of like uh, random artists on Etsy that I found and I like, so I'm gonna see if their pins can match in. But probably by the looks of it, I'm looking at no more than maybe three or four more to complete the actual look. But um, all these artists are great and I love them. Oh, actually, yeah, probably three, because I've got the carousel one that I haven't put in there yet. Um, but they were all like really good. Um, yeah, and obviously got to see my friends, which I really love. Obviously it was quite brief, but at the same time, any chance to see them is good. So yeah. Um, yeah, so all in all for just the one day of con, um, really fulfilling, really. Um, and I'm very happy, I'm also very tired and I do have work tomorrow, so there is that, but um, you know, the sacrifices you make. Um, I didn't actually expect to be out this late to be honest, but uh, here we are. Um, yeah, so obviously, uh, I spent a fortune, um, pretty much broke now, uh, <laughs> and like I, might, I said before with my friends, like, um, there were like obviously little flaws with the con, but generally overall it was really good and I'm really happy and I enjoyed myself, so uh, I'm not complaining. Um, obviously it was hot, but uh, I think I put picked the right sort of outfit for weather, which um, was the main thing, and I'm absolutely loving these ears so much, they are so good. Um, to the point, I'm actually going to say, I think I'm going to start wearing these in my videos, like as like an actual look, so there you go. Um, yeah, no, so there you go, guys. That is uh, Hyper Japan 2022. Um, and I think it came back pretty well, to be honest. Um, and uh, I look forward to, well, I'll be interested to see if they're going to bring it back in, I think, the November time, which is, I think, what they used to do, whether that's still a thing. We don't know. But um, the next one, uh, as it stands, will be October. So we've got a couple of months to recover. I don't really have anything else planned at that point. So, yeah. Um, in terms of that, not particularly any new cosplays coming in that I'm aware of. I say that like I don't know. <laughs> um, actually, I do have one I'm hoping to get ready, but the rest I'm trying to obviously bring back some ones I have um, already got. Um, one, money effective, and also like the whole point of getting cosplays is that I can uh, um, wear them more than once. So there we go. Um, yeah, but I think that's it for the day and I'm ready to like get all this off and get into bed and get chill, so there we go. Um, obviously guys, if you like this video, do give it a thumbs up, I do appreciate it. If you were by any chance at Hyper Japan, you have opinions, obviously good and bad, there's going to be a mix, but obviously don't um, really trash the event, you know, it's not really, we don't do that here. Um, so yeah, but feel free to leave a comment down below if you so wish. Obviously, uh, if you are lurking please do hit that subscribe button, I do appreciate it. Coming in at the wrong second, my dear, what are you doing? What the hell's going on? <laughs> yeah, hit that subscribe button and notification bell so that you know when I next do a video. <sighs> okay. <laughs> um, if you want to see more uh, con videos, there is a whole playlist up there or at the end of the video you can check that out um yeah and i really look forward to the next one i always the con is the highlight of my year like no matter how many there are so um everyone is everyone is different even if they're the same you know event um and you know every year it's always different um in one way or another so that's why i like to um record it and uh, share it so there we go um but yeah i think that's it but until next time guys. I'll open you